The lives we lost today were lives given in the service of liberty, the service of security, the service of others, in the service of America. Like their fellow brothers and sisters in arms who died defending our vision and our values in the struggle against terrorism, of the fall on this day, they're part of a great and noble company of American heroes. That was President Biden two years ago, speaking after a suicide bomber killed 13 U.S. service members outside of the Kabul airport during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Martha Raddatz sat down with three of the fallen Marines' family members. It was the only way out for Afghan civilians. Abbey Gate, Kabul Airport, August 2021. Tens of thousands of Afghans swarming the gate, desperate to escape Taliban rule. 6,000 U.S. troops dispatched to aid in the evacuations. 23-year-old Marine Corps Sergeant Nicole G was among them. She shared with me that she had never seen people so desperate. Um, and I think once she saw that, she was just going to give 100% to help them be rescued. Nicole posting this image with an Afghan child less than a week before her death with the caption, I love my job. And that's exactly, I feel like, how everybody there felt. They loved what they were doing and they were so proud. 31-year-old Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover certainly loved his. He was on his third deployment to Afghanistan. I have heard from many of his friends, um, his men, that had said that when it was time for them to take a break, um, he didn't want to. He wanted to stay out there and continue to bring people in. And 22-year-old Humberto Sanchez, known as Bert, who had joined the Marine Corps at 17 with permission from his mother, Coral. One day he should show up and said, I want you to go and sign up because I enlist in the Marines. And I said, why? And he said, because I want to be the best of the best and I want to make you proud. These Marines, just three of the 13 U.S. service members and more than 170 Afghans killed outside Abbey Gate on August 26th when a suicide bomber exploded in the crowd. Christy Shamblin was on vacation with Nicole's husband, her son Jared, also a Marine. As soon as we saw the news that 13 service members had been killed, he, he said to me, Mom, I have a very bad feeling. Um, and we stayed up that whole night waiting for our phone call that we, <clears throat> we knew was coming. Um, as soon, you know, as time wore on and we didn't hear from her, my son knew. Um, I was, I think, in shock or denial. Like Nicole's relatives, Taylor Hoover's, too, were gripped by fear. I t kept texting him, are you okay? Are you good? I had a horrible feeling. I had a three-hour uh, three drive back to my house. That hell of a drive home, I was sobbing. I knew something was wrong. Um, I could feel it. Um, I got home around 7 p.m. Doorbell rang. I, I, we don't, we're, there, nobody's allowed to use that door, doorbell anymore. Um, and uh, I looked at my son-in-law, and we both just dropped um, before we even looked at the door. We knew. I don't remember much more from that night, but I remember that moment. What do you remember, Coral? Well, I went to sleep, but I cannot sleep. I was awake. And at one forty two I hear my phone vibrating under my pillow. I didn't want to answer. It rings again. I wake up my husband and I said, They are calling again from California and he said, You have to answer that call. I'm like, I'm not. You are gonna have to answer and he's like, Get up and answer the phone. And I give them my address and they said we're gonna be there in a few minutes. So as soon as I went downstairs, I still have that, that hope that they were going to say, your son got wounded and we have to take you somewhere. When I look at the window, I just told my husband and I said, please tell me that they are not full dress. And then he just shake his head. Days later, the remains of all 13 service members would arrive at Dover Air Base, greeted by President Biden.
but these families say he offered little comfort. The administration didn't seem to know our story. They didn't seem to know Nicole's name, our names. Um, people from the military certainly knew our story, Nicole's name, our names, and that was expressed to us in a way that felt very genuine and loving. But when it came to the people in suits, it, it felt disingenuous and um, hollow. First, he called me Mrs. Lopez, and I was not Mrs. Lopez. And he just talked about his son and said how much he knows or he understands how do we feel because he lost his kid and he didn't feel. He didn't know how we feel because he was there with his son when he passed. We didn't have that privilege. We receive our kids in a casket. So I just feel so disrespectful by that man because it was all about him. We had decided as a family that we would um, not meet with the president. So we were actually in a, a room um, on the side. We had decided because strong opinions and then out on the, on the tarmac, it made it even worse. Um, the disrespect that we were shown with him checking his watch, um, not even looking at us, I, 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 it was just total disrespect. Someone screamed at President Biden, burn in hell. That was my daughter. Yes, and she meant it. In response, spokesperson John Kirby said in a statement, the White House understands these Gold Star families are still grieving and suffering and that little can be done to ease their pain. We do hope they know how deeply committed the president and first lady remain to honoring the service and sacrifice of their Marines, their soldier and their sailor. While the pain will always be there for these families, they hope more than anything that changes will be made so the chaos of the withdrawal will never happen again. That's all I can really hope for, you know, so that we don't have another addition to our Gold Star family. We don't, we love each other very much, but we don't want any more. Thanks to Martha and those families. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.